Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Palestinian President and Chairman of the Executive Committee of the Palestine Liberation Organization, Mahmoud Abbas, where he expressed his deep condolences on the sad demise of the President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, the late His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, praying to Allah Almighty to rest his soul in peace. And His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan on the anniversary of his accession to the throne. His Majesty King Hamad expressed sincere best wishes to King Abdullah II and wished him abundant health and happiness, and to Jordan and its people further progress and prosperity. His Majesty lauded the depth of the Bahraini Jordanian relations, praising their steady progress in various fields. And His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of condolences from the Moroccan monarch King Mohammed VI, where he expressed his deep condolences on the sad demise of the President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest his soul in peace. He wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness, and for the people of Bahrain further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the Jordanian monarch His Majesty King Abdullah II on the anniversary of his accession to the throne. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister wished King Abdullah II abundant health and happiness and to Jordan and its people further progress and prosperity. He also underlined the depth of the Bahraini Jordanian relations in various fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the Jordanian monarch His Majesty King Abdullah II on the anniversary of his accession to the throne. His Royal Highness wished King Abdullah II abundant health and happiness and to Jordan and its people further progress and prosperity. He also underlined the depth of the relations between the two countries in various fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met with the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. During the meeting, His Royal Highness conveyed His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's congratulations to His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud on the continuous success of the comprehensive development programs initiated under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, reinforcing Saudi Arabia's position on the regional and international levels. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also conveyed His Majesty's congratulations on the success of the Saudi Emirati Coordination Council, praising the, praising the exemplary model of interstate relations it represents in the interest of achieving further regional security and development. His Royal Highness underscored the depth of the Bahraini-Saudi bilateral relations which are underpinned by historical ties and shared strategic goals. He highlighted the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's long-standing commitment to preserving regional security and stability, noting the leading role the country has played in establishing the Arab coalition to restore security and stability in Yemen. In this regard, His Royal Highness affirmed Bahrain's commitment to continue advancing collaboration with Saudi Arabia to safeguard regional stability and combat all forms of terrorism. He stressed the importance of further strengthening the cooperation in the interest of the long-term sustainable development across various sectors, a key objective that continues to receive the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques. His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman welcomed His Royal Highness's visit to Saudi Arabia. The Royal Highnesses then discussed a range of different regional and international developments. In this regard, their Royal Highnesses confirmed the importance of coordinating efforts to prevent external interferences in the region. The Saudi Minister of Interior, Prince Abdulaziz bin Saud Al Saud, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, departed to Bahrain after concluding a visit to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness was bade farewell at the airport by the Deputy Governor of Mecca region, Prince Abdullah bin Bandar Al Saud, Bahrain's Ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officials. Upon his departure, His Royal Highness sent a cable to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, expressing sincere thanks and gratitude for the hospitality accorded to him during his visit to Saudi Arabia, underlining the progressing distinguished relations between the two countries. His Royal Highness said that the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, 
has always stood with determination with Saudi Arabia in support of its great efforts towards strengthening the foundation of security and stability for all and facing the various challenges that require unity of ranks. His Royal Highness also hailed the Saudi leadership of the Arab Alliance in Yemen towards establishing the foundations of peace and stability and unity of Yemen. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, wished the custodian of the two holy mosques continued health and to Saudi Arabia further progress and prosperity under his wise leadership. His Royal Highness sent a similar cable to the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness expressed in the cable great pride and the exemplary history and close relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. Thanks to the support of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud and His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness paid tribute to the Kingdom's sincere role and its efforts that contributes to strengthening unity of ranks and addressing practices that would compromise the security and stability of states and the gains of their people. His Royal Highness wished Saudi Arabia further progress and prosperity. Shura Council delegation participated in the Forum of the Global Female Leaders Summit held in the Lithuanian capital. Earlier today, we were joined by the Shura Council delegation member, Hala Ramzi, who briefed us on the topics discussed at the forum. This year's summit has its focus on women, leadership, and the difference it makes. With the shifting world security order, as well as today's digital revolution, need trusted leaders. It's a call to action, and this was the theme of this year's summit. Uh, several issues were discussed during the summit relating to women empowerment to increase the number of successful female leaders, uh, particularly economically and socially, hence having greater participation of women and engagement in politics. Also examples from countries that have advanced strategies leading to higher percentage of participation of women were also discussed in plenary sessions. So we took this opportunity to talk about Kingdom of Bahrain's progressive strategies set and led by the Supreme Council of Women to empower Bahraini women during the last 15 years and presented the various related initiatives and programs aiming to increase the number of women participating in political, economical and social fields. Uh, on the other hand, most of the outcomes of this year's summit is about how women can benefit from global changes, such as technology, to create their future and overcome challenges faced to become strong leaders. Another important aspect is gender equality, where everyone emphasized that it's a major measure to enforce women's role, ensuring that she gets her chance to become a decision maker and a successful leader. And luckily, we in Bahrain um, this is one of the successful programs introduced by the Supreme Council of Women and is being implemented progressively in government and private entities via the Opportunity Equity Committees as part of the national model for integration of women needs in development. Uh, honestly speaking, attending this summit was uh, made us feel so proud, realizing the significant progress Bahrain has made compared to other countries internationally with regard to supporting women and mainstreaming her needs into various development processes as most outcomes are already in place and are part of the Supreme Council of Women's National Strategy. And of course, this wouldn't have been achieved without His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's clear directions and Her Royal Highness Princess Sarika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa's continuous support and concern to activate women's role in the society, leading to immeasurable contributions of Bahraini women in building and developing our country, which make us uh, members of the legislative authority keen to work in collaboration with various concerned institutions to sustain these achievements and build on them. The annual This is Bahrain Gabka was held in Sacred Heart Church under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. More details in this report with Shogun Hamad. Bahrain is a cradle of religions and an oasis for practicing religious rights, and the existence of the Sacred Heart Church on its land for 80 years is evidence of the country's openness that has spanned decades. 
that this is Bahrain Ghabka was the embodiment of the most beautiful images of coexistence between the different religions and sects in the kingdom, as people of all faiths came together to celebrate the blessed month of Ramadan in its final and holiest days. We are very pleased uh, to uh, participate with This is Bahrain uh, in this event and any, any other event because we believe that we are partners, we are one body working together to achieve uh, His uh, Majesty's uh, uh, vision, uh, philosophy and view of, uh, of Bahrain's uh, multicultural society, Bahrain's uh, coexistence, uh, peaceful uh, living and uh, uh, and the equality of uh, all human beings. Tonight we saw people from every ethnicity, every culture and every religion come together as one family to celebrate the blessings of the holy month of Ramadan. This is really how we have lived in the Kingdom of Bahrain for many centuries and this is the living embodiment of His Majesty the King's visionary leadership philosophy that peaceful coexistence and living together in mutual respect and love is the way forward for everyone in the world. The guests included diplomats, religious leaders and members of the different Bahraini communities who all praised the unlimited support provided by His Majesty the King to push forward the efforts of coexistence, peace and freedom of religion to unprecedented heights. It's a very important initiative uh, and we're all very, very supportive of the initiative. And I'm very happy to be here this evening to be able to celebrate along with uh, with this is Bahrain and also the, the King Hamad Center uh, in a time of Ramadan, which also is, of course, a moment when many people come together and, uh, uh, and are able to share in the blessings uh, of peace throughout the year. This is uh, one excellent asset of uh, Bahraini society, and uh, we, we praise highly uh, the conviction of His Majesty the King Hamad, King Hamad. Uh, to enhance and to boost this coexistence. Me as a representative of the 60,000 strong Filipino community here of mostly Catholics but many of different Christian faiths and even Muslims, Bahrain is a bastion of interfaith understanding. This is my first year to spend uh, in, uh, in this lovely country as Japanese ambassador and I totally agree uh, the idea of coexistence and uh, uh, unified unified you know solidarity of all uh, human kinds so uh, Japanese government fully supports this uh, orientation uh, initiated by his majesty king hamad the bahraini government and uh, his majesty king uh, hamad bin isa al khalifa are playing an, a very important role in uh, peaceful coexistence of uh, all societies uh, in Bahrain and uh, the Russian Federation really values it and uh, believes that this is a very important topic uh, covered by the Bahraini government. The annual gathering which the association is keen to organize in a religious or cultural site is a representation of the Bahraini model of centuries old religious freedom and peaceful coexistence where all live together in harmony in the spirit of mutual respect and love. Reporting for Bahrain International,